<clears throat> nice to meet you everyone this is Nebu Billah and I'm a PhD student at the Korean Institute of Ceramic Engineering and Technology uh, today my presentation is about uh, phosphor so actually I prepared the green size uh, nano phosphor LFU 40 B cerium nano size phosphor and then, then coat it on the mica plaque and then check their photoluminance property uh, so actually phosphor uh, materials that are used against counterfeiting so to convert the, uh, to, to control the counterfeiting various scientists are working uh, and to prepare these nano phosphor in the form of nano joule in the form of unique marker and so on in my case i prepared nano phosphor by soil gel process and these nano phosphor are easily converted into nano joule and finally um, converted into um, coated into ceramic flake mica flake type material mm. Uh, my, my preparation of these nanophosphor consists of three parts. The one is experimental, uh, one is the preparation of these um, nanophosphor, and the second is the conversion of these nanophosphor into nanojoule, and finally, uh, coating of these nanojoule onto the mica flake. And so, synthesis procedure uh, actually, the phosphor was prepared by soil gel process, as uh, we can see in this. Uh, uh, in this synthesis, um, in this, this, this synthesis of these phosphor. So the coating mechanism consists of the mica flake, and uh, so the mica flake is uh, coated by these nanotinium phosphate serum uh, nano size phosphor. And uh, after coating, a green luminance property was obtained. Mm, these are the efficient images of these green size nano phosphor. As you can see, see here, and these are the nano joule. See, one is the nano joule after converting these nano phosphor. This is the XRD analysis of these nano phosphor, mm, and uh, this is the photoluminance property of the nano phosphor before milling, and uh, the black one is after milling, and the red one is after milling. That is still signed for at 650 degrees C, and uh, this one is uh, these are the FSM images of these nanophosphor coated on mica so before coating and this one is after coating 5 weight percent 10 and 20 weight percent so the 20 weight percent was the best one this is the xrd analysis of these nanophosphor coated on mica this is mica and this is mica coated with the nanophosphor and this is the photoluminance property of these nanophosphor before calcination and this one is after calcination uh that is coated by 20 weight percent in the conclusion, LFU for TB serum phosphor was prepared by soil gel process, and uh, the, these nano phosphor was easily coated on uh, mica flake, and the uh, green luminance was obtained at 900 at 650 degrees C after calcination. Mm, so these the phenomena of these nano phosphor was improved um, after calcination, and uh, finally we concluded that this nano phosphor after coating and mica flake may be a good candidate against counterfeiting. Thank you so much.